What is a conspiracy theory? Well, it is a theory about a conspiracy. That's about it. Well, let's go into it further. We need to break down the two words, conspiracy and theory. First, let's look at conspiracy. What is that? Well, conspiracy is merely a plan or a plot between two or more people that is done in secret to avoid negative consequences for engaging in their plot or plan. And those negative consequences can be either legal or, uh, or social or otherwise. That's, but it requires a mindset now the, of both parties uh, to be, they're, they're, if they're engaging in a conspiracy, it requires them, the parties engaged in the conspiracy, to be planning something in their mind, that, that's key, to do something. Um, so, yeah requires their a mindset. Okay, well, that, that's we got the conspiracy noun. Now, what is a theory? A theory is a belief about a state of affairs that requires a premise that cannot can never be observed or be known. Analytic, analytic a priori, that is, cannot be derived, like as a tautology or as a mathematical proof. Um, so yeah, it's, it, can, it has to be, so basically, yeah, it either has to be, so theory, yeah, it requires, uh, yeah, it requires an element that can, can never be known uh, with any, uh, uh, with could not be no, never be done certain with any certainty with either like a, empirically there can never, can never be observed um, uh, or be known uh, uh, analytic a priori and the, that element has to, has to be true we'll just say it, can, it has to be an unobservable element it has to be true in order for that belief to be true so what is a, then we for somebody to engage in a, a, a conspiracy theory, they have to be theorizing, that is, thinking about uh, of something that requires an an uncertain element, inherently uncertain element. Yes, that's so theorizing about in a conspiracy requires. And uh, some uh, an element to be true that someone from the outside can never empirically verify. That is, what is going on inside inside the mind of the conspirators? Their plan. What is what is you know they're, they're, they they have a certain plan to uh, achieve some end, and they're keeping it secret in order to avoid uh, negative consequences. So that's all. So so somebody so that therefore. Any belief about a conspiracy, or, or any belief that a conspiracy is occurring, is inherently a conspiracy theory. So anybody that believes that a, a conspiracy has occurred is a conspiracy theorist. Now let's look at, uh, as an example, let's look at the college admissions scandal that has been in the press a lot. From what I've read, the people that are uh, the, the especially the like the celebrities that are being charged with um, engaging in that scandal, they are being charged with wait for it, yep you guessed it conspiracy. They are being charged with conspiracy, from a, um, a criminal conspiracy I believe. So how so now is so then, that, does that mean that? Well, I believe it does mean that these uh, prosecutors that are charging the 
celebrities, or, or all the people involved in the college admissions scandal, all the, 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 the prosecutors that are charging the, the, the people, the defendants in the college admissions scandal with conspiracy, those prosecutors are conspiracy theorists because they are alleging that it is true that they are these uh, people engaged in a conspiracy. But in order for you to believe that it's true that they engaged in, in a conspiracy, they have to, uh, the prosecutors also have to believe that it is true that they had, the conspirators had some mindset to engage in a secret plot to get their uh, children into college um, done secretly in order to avoid uh, negative consequences. In this case, the negative consequences being criminal prosecution for conspiracy. Now, the prosecutors, neither, neither the prosecutors nor anyone else, for the matter, can observe the minds, the minds of uh, these defendants. So they're theorizing that they engaged in a conspiracy. So there's an element that's required <clears throat> that's required for the belief that a conspiracy occurred to be true that is unobservable. That is what is going on in the mind of the defendants. And now in, in, in this case, I know there's recently with some news one of the, the uh, most uh, the, the one of the celebrities that uh, was was charged and has so far as far as I know pleaded not guilty and not agreed to a plea uh, agreement um, that defendant uh, claims that some new evidence has surfaced that exonerates them and with that, that evidence would tend to show that the defendant actually thought it was a legitimate charitable donation to the college. Um, and so there was no uh, mindset to uh, engage in a secret plan to donate that money to, 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 to the college to avoid negative consequences. Um, so, you know, the negative consequences of some prosecution. They thought it was a legal donation, legitimate legal donation to, 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 the, to, to, to the college or university. Um, and so then there was, no, there was no plan in their mind to engage in a conspiracy. They were not trying to avoid, they're not trying to keep, you know, keep it secret to avoid these negative, negative consequences. Um, they may have kept it secret. You know, only maybe it kept a secret because just you know just not not, not 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 anyone's business. But they're not trying to keep it, keep it secret to avoid uh, negative consequences of criminal prosecution. Um, so in that case, I'm you know I'm not a legal expert. I'm, any 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 little expertise I have is in in academically is in philosophy, and so I'm just discussing using it at the college admissions scandal as an example here, um, in order to uh, provide an example of. Uh, what I'm trying to engage in some of the epistemology and, and ontology it applied to everyday life um, and in, in, in examining the term conspiracy theory and conspiracy theorist so yeah that, that's all I'm, 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 I'm trying, trying to approach here is to examine the, 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 uh, the you know, cons conspiracy theory from an epistemological and ontological aspect I'm not of course, I'm not. I have no. I have no legal expertise whatsoever. Um, uh, so that the uh, yeah. But I. But I think that's what the. But I think it applied to this legal case. I think that's that's what's going on here. Is uh, there's no. Uh, there, there's no uh, conspiracy. If, um, uh, uh, if the defendant. Was not, um, did not have a mindset to avoid in giving the donation. Did not think that there were some uh, uh, going to be negative consequences. Um, they thought it was. Uh, they, I mean, yeah, they didn't. 
they thought it was a legitimate legal donation to the college. So they did, did not think that there was going to be negative consequences um, uh, uh, by donating the money. Now, you know, I know, I know that, you know, I think that usually there's no, uh, being ignorant of the law is no uh, um, you know, defense for breaking the law. But I think here, I believe, now, of course, I'm not, once again, I'm not a legal expert, but I, I think here it, it, it's, it's um, the mindset of the defendant is, the, is, is uh, crucial in the terms of conspiracy, if a conspiracy occurred. That's, that's uh, crucial, I believe in this case um, I, I, uh, from, a, from a legal standpoint but I'm not sure I'm not a lawyer I don't know the law very well um, but but I do think it is crucial in terms of the uh, the ontology of what is a conspiracy here if the, she was not if the defendant was not trying to uh, avoid le- negative consequences um, uh, they're not us- uh, using using uh, they're they're not keeping it secret to avoid negative consequences. Then I don't I do not believe um, from how I am defining conspiracy. Then I don't I do not think it was a conspiracy. Then, um, but I do believe the prosecutors are engaging are, are are a bunch of conspiracy theorists. Now that's the funny thing when I say that they're probably saying you know they might think that I'm being pejorative. Um, <laughs> Because there's like an automatic, like knee-jerk reaction, um, of uh, whenever somebody is being called a conspiracy theorist, there's uh, that's that's tr- treated as pejorative, <laughs> and and, uh, and somehow like as though that uh, somehow undermines the position of somebody engaging in a uh, conspiracy theory. Um, of course, there is no uh, reason to believe there's any. Uh, from a p- epistemological standpoint, any undermining of a position just because it is a theory about a conspiracy. Um, especially in the case here I'm trying to point out is that no matter what, if, if a, uh, since a conspiracy requires a, a mindset of the conspirator, then it can never be known with any uh, degree of certainty whether the, theory, whether the conspiracy happened or not. It's, so therefore it's always going to be a theory any belief about a, uh, that a conspiracy is true, that in, inherently is going to be a conspiracy theory, no matter what the conspiracy is, because we can never observe the mind of the conspirator. And so even if they pled, pled guilty, say, in a criminal case, then maybe this, they pled to, because they thought that was the, the best deal. Maybe they're, they're, even though they may believe they're innocent, they... Uh, they may think they still would not be able to uh, convince a jury of that. So they just thought, well, it's, I'm just making a, a bargain here um, that I'll get the least, you know, that's the most, least, most likely to get the least amount of uh, jail time or whatever. Uh, so they just made a bargain, even though they could still maybe still believe that they are innocent of the, the conspiracy charges. So it's... It, um, we often hear the claim, well, um, the, you know, I think there's like YouTube videos out there, articles out there about uh, the say cons- conspiracy, conspiracies that turned out to be true. Um, well, I mean, they may, may well be true, but it's still going to be a theory, regardless of whether or not, uh, whether it's true or false. But, because um, conspiracies are uh, belief about a conspiracy is always going to be theoretical. He, what 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 I think was meant by uh, conspiracy conspiracy theories um, that turned out to be true, it just means that uh, there is enough evidence to convince the minds of a preponderance of the audience that the conspiracy happened. Um, but since we can never observe the minds of the, the alleged conspirators, we can uh, never know with any uh, certainty of whether or not the uh, conspiracy actually happened. Therefore, we're always theorizing about it, um, about the veracity of the alleged conspiracy. Um, now, we get look, like look at uh, all these cases of... Uh, I like to watch this show, um, American Greed, 
there's often a lot, there's a lot of times it covers financial frauds that occurred, um, and if there's so, I think you're going to see a lot of cases there where there is a conspiracy. Or I believe it's true that there's conspiracy, and I think a lot of the majority of the audiences believe that conspiracy occurred. But of course, you can never once again you can never observe the minds of the alleged conspirators. Therefore, you can never be certain about whether the conspiracies happened uh, uh, that were covered in that show or not. So you're always going to be a, cons a conspiracy theory. You're always going to be theorizing about the veracity of the, uh, of the alleged conspiracies. Um, uh, it's, just, it's just a matter of whether or not there's uh, enough evidence to convince someone that it's uh, of, the, of the veracity of the alleged conspiracy, um, but from you know, say well, people say, well, where's the proof of something or other? Um, we're never going to have proof from at least not from a, a mathematical standpoint, of a mathematic math, mathematical proof or a logical proof of a uh, of a conspiracy. It's never going to happen because because you can never observe the mind of the conspirator. Um, but I think pretty much everybody's going to agree that conspiracies happen. People do plot in secret to achieve some end, and they do that in secret to avoid some sort of negative consequences of that plot, that plan. So the majority of people, if they do believe that those uh, plots happen, on a regular basis, then pretty much everybody is a conspiracy theorist, and so therefore it should never be a pejorative to call somebody a pejorative, a, a conspiracy theorist. And it has no uh, consequences whatsoever um, in terms of the veracity of the belief that a conspiracy happened. Um, that is. Uh, so that that's what I'm trying to clear up here with this video. It, it doesn't matter whether it's people. You know, I see all across the political spectrum uh, of people saying, "Well, that's a conspiracy theory." They're conspiracy theorists. So what? We're all we're all conspiracy theorists, pretty much, um, because we all believe those kind of plots happen in secret. People have, they have that mindset, and so. But I think what, what the reason it has gotten, I like a. Uh, uh, a, a negative con connotation of the term conspiracy theory is that um, the people who, the elites at the top, who um, are engaging in some of the most uh, nefarious conspiracies, don't want people investigating and looking into them, what they're doing. So they've worked hard with, they've engaged in another conspiracy, they've uh, plotted with uh, people in the corporate mainstream media to give a negative connotation to anybody that is looking and they would be likely to look into these nefarious acts of the ruling elite and to to give a negative uh, label stigmatism if you will to anybody that does look into their that tries to investigate their act, act, uh, uh, activities and try to get it because anybody that is going to be looking into them it was is going to be a theorist about this, some conspiracy going on up there and so people uh, uh, at the top the elites they don't want people looking into what they're doing because they're they know the uh, the masses would not like like what they're doing a lot of the time and so they try to but the, the masses of course they don't want to have a, a socially unacceptable label the people are social creatures so you have the mainstream media drumming up uh, news features and uh, stories that paint a negative light on anybody that is looking into those at the top. They're working together, including the people at the top and the mainstream media are working together to create a negative image of these people, uh, people that are investigating those elites who do not want to be investigated. So they try to make, give the investigators a uh, an unflattering label and portray them as um, 
nuts, if, if, if you will. And uh, that has, to some ex to the extent that it, the label conspiracy theorist has kind of a pejorative connotation, the elites say, insofar as that has worked, um, the, those elites at the top, they've succeeded. Um, so I'm, just, I'm trying to clear it up. It's okay to be a conspiracy theorist. We're pretty much all, everybody is, is a conspiracy theorist. Keep investigating those at the top. We don't want to, uh, don't, we don't want, let, if, we, if we go along with this uh, uh, pejorative, per, per, pejorative, uh, pejoratization of the label of, of the term conspiracy theory, then then they've that they've they've uh, won to that extent that it's gotten a um, the negative label. So yeah, I don't I don't think we should go lo along with that. Um, don't, don't yeah, we don't want to let them win. We want to keep investigating them, looking into them. Um, uh, and may, if anything, see that as a uh, a label of honor being labeled a conspiracy theorist. So that means we are looking looking into the um, into the ruling elites and their nefarious activities of oppression on the masses. Uh, so we want to keep on doing that. It's a good thing. So it's a good thing to be a conspiracy theorist. That's what I had to say. I hope, I hope I made some sense. Right, thanks for watching. Mm. Hmm.